Pastor Carolyn, I'm here with our friend Hedgie. So, Hedgie, I learned a lot in Kids Church in the month of October, did you? Yeah, we learned that it's important to go and tell others about Jesus. Part of being a disciple or a follower of Jesus means that we need to tell others about him. Yeah, it's called the good news. So remember our verse in October, our theme verse in Isaiah 6, 8? Yeah, let's read that together. Kids, can you read it with me? Then I heard the Lord asking, whom should I send as a messenger to this people? Who will go for us? I said, here I am, send me, Isaiah 6, 8. Well, Hedgie, let's have the kids listen to our new Bible story. And this is all about how Jesus wants us to share him with our friends and our family. And stay tuned after the story because Hedgie and I will be right back. Stories of the Bible. Jesus prays. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate, and Jesus and his disciples were having the Passover meal together. Jesus told them many things of what was to come and the trials they would face. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and prayed for himself, saying, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son so he can give glory back to you. I brought glory to you here on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. Now, Father, bring me into the glory we shared before the world began. Then Jesus prayed for his disciples and said, I have passed on to them the message you gave me. They accepted it and know that I came from you, and they believe you sent me. He prayed for his disciples who would be staying in the world after Jesus went to heaven. He asked God to keep them safe from the evil one and to make them holy. Then Jesus prayed for all the people who would come to believe in God because of the message that the disciples would tell. He prayed for people of all time, even to this day. He prayed that followers of Jesus would be united so that the world would believe that God sent Jesus to die for their sins so that everyone could be with God forever. Wow, Hedgie, I feel so encouraged after watching that Bible story, do you? Yeah, kids, it's so important that we share Jesus with our friends and family, the ones who don't know him. So why don't we pray for that right now? Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I pray that you would give the friends watching right now opportunities to share you with those who don't know you, friends and family members. And we pray that you would just work in their hearts to receive your love and the truth. And we pray that you would give the courage to share you with them. Amen. All right. Well, Hedgie, for the month of October, we have been focusing on our partnership with Hands at Work Africa. And I know last week, Hedgie, you brought your piggy bank, didn't you? Yeah. And do you remember what you did with your piggy bank? That's right. Hedgie gave $20 to this jar. And kids, do you remember what this jar was all about? Well, we were collecting money to raise funds for the project in Kitaba Taba where they're building new toilets for the kids and care workers. And the toilets they had before, they weren't safe and they weren't working well. And so guess what the good news is, kids? We raised enough money so the project can be completed. 
That is exciting news. And the other thing we've been doing in the month of October, we have been praying for all the kids in Kitaba Taba and Luanga, right Hedgie? We sure have. And also all the care workers that care for them, that give them a hot meal and medicine and share the good news of Jesus with them. Yeah, and today kids, we're gonna listen to a story about a boy named Max. And Max, he lives in the northern part of the Democratic Republic of the Congo and in an area called Luanga. And he has a story that is pretty incredible. And we're gonna watch a little video now of my friend Ava, who you may also know, that goes to City South Church. She's gonna share the story of Max and his dad. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Carolyn. I'm the children's pastor at South, and I'm here with my special friend, Ava, who is also part of City South Church. And together today, we are going to give you an update on our partnership with Hands at Work. And Ava, you're going to tell us a little bit about one of our boys that lives in the area called Luanga, that's in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Can you share a little bit about this boy and his story? Um, sure. Um, he lives in Luanga, um, and his name is Max. Um, his age is 14, and his mother passed away in a war. Yeah, and he was still very little when that happened, right? There was there was something sad that happened. And uh, so how many people are in his family right now? Um, two. Yeah, so who does he live with? His father. His father. So when they were, when Max was really young, um, do you know, can you tell us why his body was so sick? Um, because he didn't have um, the money and the food to buy what he needed. Yeah, and it's really important to have a hot, nutritious meal in order for the body to grow. And so what was something he couldn't do when he was really little because of the malnutrition? He, he couldn't walk. Yeah, so do you remember how old he was when he finally was able to start walking? Um, four years old. Yeah. And so tell us the, the good part of the story about the care worker. Um, the care worker, she found him and then him and his father. So they, so then they um, went to, they went to the care center with the care worker. Yeah, and what did the care worker do for them there? Um, the care worker, um, gave them hot meals. Yeah, and just once or how often? Um, six days a week. Yeah, they did. And they also gave them something else to help their bodies. Do you remember what that was? Was it medicine? Yeah, they got medicine. Both the dad and Max did. And so now is Max really strong and healthy? He's way better. He's way better, yeah. And what is his interest? What What's he up to these days? He's up to, he wants to be a nurse, a nurse and he's, um, he's learning from, from people in a clinic. Yeah, he volunteers at the clinic there, isn't that right? Yeah, so this is a real story of hope, how um, Hands at Work, their model is they have these care workers that care for these kids and not only do they give them meals and um, medicine but what else do they share about with these kids um, they share about the things that God has done for them yeah they get to hear this um, the good news about Jesus right now so this is awesome now there's something happening in the southern part of the Congo in a community called Kitaba Taba and our church has a, a project that we're involved with. So right now, what are they doing on the ground at the care center in Kitaba Taba? On the ground, they're um, building new toilets. Yeah, why? Because, are... because the toilets, um, they aren't safe. Yeah, and so they're going in there, and of course the kids need to have a, a place to use the washroom. So tell us about this jar and what this is all about. Um, well, it's about 
the money that our church, the kids' church, is donating for for their toilet. Yeah, and, and did you know that Eva was the very first person to come and bring some of her piggy bank money, and it was. Uh, $6.90 and I was just so proud of you Ava when you brought that because this shows me that you have a very generous heart, right? And so some of the other kids from City South, they've also brought in their money. And what do you want to tell the people, uh, the kids and the adults who are watching this right now about giving? Um, well, I think I, I gave because, um, because, well, I think everybody needs to go to the washroom, not just the people in Canada and the people who have toilets, everybody. And so I decided to give um, just so that I, I could give. Yeah. And, 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 and participate in, the, in the church. Yeah. And so would you, do you think it's a good idea for other people to participate too? Of course. <laughs> yeah. And so we're getting really close to our target. We need to raise $3,000 and I think we only need 500 more. So we're getting really close. So if you would like to give to this project, you can go ahead and uh, look in the comments below and there's instructions on how to give. So we will see you next time. Bye for now. Welcome back kids. We're going to end our lesson today with our two songs starting with Jambo, and we know Jambo means hello in Swahili. And this is the language that they speak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Let's sing it together. Jambo, Jambo, Jambo means hello to you. Jambo, 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 we are friends. Jambo, Jambo. Jumbo means hello to you. Jumbo, 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 we are friends. All right, kids, I'll see you next week. We're going to end off with our song, We Will Go. See you next time. <laughs>